Over the years, working in the bush has come a long, long way. It used to be hard, physical and very dangerous work. But these days, it's a much more well-oiled machine. Forestry these days has changed. Innovation and technology means we are getting more from our forests than ever before. The foresters of yesteryear would probably be amazed at what working in the bush looks like today. Well, they were braver than us for a start, but they worked with what they had. Uh, they worked with what they had and, and a lot of how they used to do it um, was inherent, inherently risky. But they did what they needed to do. They were very, very, very skilled men, but just skilled differently. Um, a lot of those skills have gone missing. Manual fallers now, good manual fallers are hard to find. Uh, back in the old day, older days, that was how it was done, whether it be with cross cuts or, you know, shoeing up trees or the early days of chainsaws. Working in the bush means lots of moving parts and heavy machinery. The ground is uneven and slippery. It really can be a dangerous place to ply your trade. And it wasn't that long ago that training barely existed. The mentality was different, the culture was different. Uh, it was a case, you, you know, do you want to have a go? Yeah, I'll have a go. Oh, have you done that before? No, we'll go and see how you go. You know, and, and that may be why there used to be um, a, a higher record of, of incidents and injuries in the bush because, you know, trial and error. I mean, trial and error has its place, but this probably isn't it. <laughs> it's that culture that has changed today, thanks to training and putting safety in the bush as the number one priority, and it's worked. Over the years, it's crept in and that, that's become normal. I mean, once upon a time, you were, you know, you weren't, you weren't the toughest bloke about if you put a helmet on. And now it's the first thing you, you, you put on when you jump out of the ute. So the mentality is changing. It was a challenge earlier on, and there will be more challenges to come, I don't doubt. We have a proud history of working in the forest in Australia, and you don't have to look far to find remnants of days gone by. You can just imagine how hard it must have been for those men back in the day with their saws and bullocks dragging out big logs. But the good news is, it's not just a boys game anymore. actually fourth gen cable logger, so granddad did it, dad did it, I suppose it's just in me blood. I did uni for a few years, wasn't really what I wanted to do. Job came up here, I was free, came out, did a bit of probation and just loved it. It just must be me blood, I think, a little bit and yeah, just kind of fell into it. You know, practice makes perfect time in the seat and three, three and a half years later, here I am. I drive the forwarder, so the nice new red one. <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm pretty flexible with what I can drive. Like, yeah, I'll jump from machine to machine if we're a man down or something. But yeah, I, I definitely like my forwarder. Caitlin and Megan are two examples of the new face of forestry. Their training has allowed them to work their way up the ranks and it's that training that keeps them and the rest of the crew safe and able to go home each night. Communication, we always were t talking to each other, you know, as soon as anyone's got any problems or there might be hiccup. You know, it's, oh, I need this, or oh, can you do this, or, you know, it's straight on to each other, or I'm going to do this because this has happened, I'll be back in a minute. I mean, there's really no judgement. They always tell us, as soon as you come out here, you're not doing anything nobody else has ever done before. You know, you think of it, they've done it, they've seen it. Often these days, there's not even any workers on the ground. It's 100% mechanical, like, yeah, you don't have a man on the ground. Everyone's got a machine, everything's done mechanically. You don't have men on the ground cutting and, you know, all that sort of thing. It's a lot of risk taken out of it. We find that um, a, a lot of it is the mateship. You know, all of us that work here, we, you know, spend time together on the weekends or because you, you virtually spend more time working with these people than you spend at home with your family. I, I think that's one of the big things is the relationships that you develop that do last a lifetime. I mean, everybody relies on everyone here, not just to do their job, but to get home safe. The continued evolution of working in the bush means it's safer and more efficient than ever to continue producing sustainable Australian timber, which is the ultimate renewable. <laughs>